Hey, baby. Hey, it's Scotty, Scotty's Animals. How much time should you spend with your guinea pigs every day? How much time do you need to spend with your guinea pigs? Well, don't think of it like that. I want to talk about how much time we should be spending with our guinea pigs, but I want to talk about it in a different way. People come into the rescue. I volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, and people come in and they want to know, well, how much time do I need to spend with my guinea pigs every day? How much time does it take to do the chores required? But I don't want you to think of it like that. So let's get that stuff out of the way. There are a lot of daily chores that you're going to have to do. You're going to want to clean their cage. Now, not every day, but you may want to spot clean, either uh, change some of the fleece pads that are underneath their houses, or if you use pine shavings, cleaning up a little bit of the dirtiest sections and replacing it with fresh shavings. That might be something that you'll want to do every day, certainly once a week. Taming your guinea pigs is going to take time and you'll get out of it what you put into it. So the more time you spend picking them up, talking to them, spending time with them, that is how comfortable they're going to be with you. And remember, guinea pigs are prey animals. So I get a lot of emails where people say, oh, you know, I've had my guinea pigs for a month now and they're still scared of me. Well, guinea pigs, in a lot of cases, they will always be a little bit skittish. You know, they don't always want to be picked up. And just like, you know, we don't always want to go out on the town. Sometimes we want to stay at home. Well, these enclosures are their homes and they don't always want to be scooped up with your hawk-like talons and you know and scratched and loved up on and you need to respect that although the flip side is you know guinea pigs they are babies they are little complainers and you know you see you know <laughs> if given their own uh, free will which they have they don't always want to be picked up but you can scoop them up hold them for a minute or two, you can scratch them on the nose. And now Gary feels safe in here, so he'll let me scratch him. But I wouldn't worry too much, you know, about your pigs running away. That's what they do naturally. And you can just scoop them up, give them a treat. I have an entire taming playlist. I'll put that right here. Go through those videos and you'll see that it really, it does take time. And if you think of spending time with your guinea pigs as a chore, then you're not going to want to put in the time. Now, even Pipsqueak, when I try to grab him, see, he's got this little tunnel where he feels safe. Come here. But when, if I wait until he comes right over here, then I can scoop him up and give him some kisses. Hi, Pippi. Hi, Pippi. Oh, he's too fast. <laughs> so what's another thing that you're going to want to do every day? That is, you're going to want to listen to them. So this does require picking them up at least for a second if you can. Oh, come on, Gary. <laughs> you want to pick them up. You want to listen to them. You want to look at them. Now, if your piggy's running like that, you know, then chances are they're feeling pretty good. Um, you want to watch them and see if they are eating, you know, a treat. You bring lettuce and you squeak at them. And if they come running for a treat, then that probably means that they're feeling good. If they're hiding in their house, then maybe they're not feeling well. You want to pay attention. You want to spend enough time every day checking to make sure. I'm going to get you. You know, you pick them up. You listen. You look at their eyes, you feel their nose. Is their nose runny? Is their breathing? Does it sound crinkly or does it sound audible? Hi, Gary. Hi, Mr. Gare Bear. Oh, how are you? I caught you. I did. Don't nibble me. I caught you. He, 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 he. He, 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 he. You ready to go back? 
There you go. Want to go up? Want to go up? So you do want to spend some time picking them up every day if you can, listening to them. You don't want to go too long without listening and looking and making sure that their vital signs are good. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I will sit right here for a scratch. But he's like, I'm safe in my tunnel. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Aww. Now, if the only time that you spend with your piggies is doing your chores and, and taking care of them, then you're going to feel like spending time with your piggies is a chore and it shouldn't be that what's the point in having guinea pigs if the only time you're going to spend with them is when you're feeding them and cleaning their cage and and all that kind of stuff and so i guess one thing i didn't mention of course every day you're going to want to give them a fresh bowl of pellets you're going to want to check on their water you know, it's a good idea to give them fresh water every day or every other day. And it depends on how much they drink. But, you know, you don't want to let the water get stale. So you want to change it out and give them fresh, clean water. And I love the Snack Shack. The Snack Shack right here allows me to stuff it full of hay. And I got one of your fuzzy hairs on my face. This Snack Shack usually takes about a day or two for one pig to eat all that hay. Now, it's gonna depend on how densely you stuff it. I cram as much hay as I can in here. Um, but if at the end of a day or two, there's still some funky hay in there, I clean it out. So these are the things that you're gonna wanna do every day and you're gonna wanna give them fresh veggies every day, not too much. You don't wanna give them soft poops and you don't want to discourage eating hay. Hay is one of the best ways that they're going to grind their teeth down. But like I was saying, if all you do is feed them and listen for illness and clean their cage, then you're going to see them as a chore. You want to spend time with them. You want to get to know them. You want to put the time in, of course, to tame them so that it's you feel connected to them. Now, if they do have an illness and we don't wish our guinea pigs to have illnesses but guinea pigs are prone to illness just as people are and if treated early and treated appropriately they really recover pippy i got him <laughs> i got pippy i got the pippy i got my pippy You will find that when you are nursing piggies back to health, that you really bond with them. But you shouldn't wait for there to be an illness for you to actually spend time with your piggies. You want to enjoy them all the time. When they're healthy, when they're sick, all the time, their whole life, you should be a part of it. And so that's what I want to really impress with this video is that you shouldn't see your piggies as a chore what's the point in having them if you're not going to spend time with them don't think about what's the minimum amount of time try to think about what is the maximum amount of time how can i make it so that i get to spend as much time as i can with them in my life now over the last year or so people have been spending a lot more time at home and hopefully that's translated to spending more time with our pets and really, really enjoying the company that they give us and that we can give them. What's that on your lip? What was that? What was that? You had some kind of crusty. I think that was like some dried celery or something. Hi, baby. Oh, I love you. So... Some of you may know that I do this YouTube full time. I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue and I make these videos and do all the things associated with being a volunteer and raising awareness for these piggies. Okay, okay. And so that's my full time thing. And that way I've been able to spend much more time with these guys because I've pretty much turned my life upside down and my life now kind of revolves around them. 
and around you guys and around helping you to take better care of your piggies. So I hope that you will subscribe, um, hit the bell notification so that you know that when I put videos up, I try to do a couple of videos every week. And if you have any questions, you can always go to my free guinea pig care guide and there's plenty of answers there. And if you don't see it or if you have any suggestions for me, you can reach out. There's a contact form. So I don't hesitate to message me and I really look forward to talking with you about your piggies. Oh, looks, looks like the lights just went out. So <laughs> in a minute or two, BB's going to start screaming at me because he's already gone to bed and I've got to do the same. So don't think of your guinea pigs as a chore. Think of them as, you know, we are so lucky to be able to spend our life and our time with these crazy creature, these sweet little people, and really think of it like that. So participate in the comments and in the guinea pig community, and you will find that you will enjoy them so much more. And don't think of them as a chore. Think of this as a privilege because we are really lucky to be able to get to know these little guys. I got him! I got him again! Twice in one, twice in one day! So check out my taming playlist. I will put it right here and you can check that out. Also, one of the things that I just figured out, they had changed a little bit with the YouTube mobile, but if you go up here in the corner and you see these dots, those dots, if you go down and you see more from Scotty's Animals, that has all the information that I put here in the info cards. So check all that stuff out. Until next time, thanks for watching.